Hello boys and girls. Now that we are stuck in our homes, I thought I'll start a series of videos that could help a lot of you guys. And I wanted to start making videos about the questions that I usually get from you guys. I, I keep on answering them in my inbox. However, it has come to a point where I keep on seeing the same question being asked again and again. So I think the best way forward would be to make videos which tackles these common questions and just let people see them as and when they please. So the most repetitive question that I always get from graduates from people in their nine to five jobs is what business should i start so to answer the question of you know what sort of business you should start so i would say just you know let's keep my opinion to the side for a moment and let's look at the top 20 companies in the world right now okay you would see that they basically fall into categories on one side you will find companies such as banks you will find, you know, some steel manufacturing or like some other manufacturing companies. You'll find a lot of petroleum companies, stores. And on the other hand, you'll find another category of companies such as Apple, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, you know, companies like these. And the difference between these two companies is that these companies are at the top after having struggled for and strived for, you know, 50 to 100 years, typically. Whereas these companies, these outliers have come onto the scene in the last 20 to 30 years max. And what has propelled these companies to the very top very quickly is that all these companies are online businesses. <laughs> Whereas these are all, you know, what they call brick and mortar or you can say offline businesses. So if somebody were to start today, day one, they have never done business before and they want to launch and get into a business, I would say try to pick an online business. It can be any business. You can do almost any business now online or offline. So I would say from the get go, think about making your company an online business because statistically online businesses are seeing a lot more success recently compared to the traditional offline business. Now that's just what the data suggests. Now I'll explain to you why I also advise youngsters or people who are starting off to start an online business compared to an offline. So the first part and the biggest part is initial investment. Now let's take two scenarios. Okay. You are trying to set up a shop. It can be any shop. It doesn't matter if it's a cafe, if you are selling shoes, whatever the case may be. And let's say it's a physical shop somewhere. And on the other hand, you open a website, you know, online. Now, just to hire the shop, I mean, obviously this will vary uh, depending on which country you do this in. But let's say an average across the world, if you were to hire an average shop, just the rent would probably start at a thousand dollars per month. Okay. And Typically, when you are hiring a physical shop, it's not like on a monthly basis. You pay the rent on a monthly basis, but you have to get into a contract with whoever is leasing you the shop. And typically, it is for 12 months. So you're looking at an year's worth of contract. So right off the bat, just to start the business, you're looking at an initial investment of $12,000 just to rent the place. On the other hand, let's say you're trying to open a website, you could probably use a service such as wix.com and the fees for opening of your own website is zero dollars you don't need to pay anything obviously the website address is going to be a quite long jumbled up address but zero dollars is what you need if you just need to set up shop online even if you want to get fancy and you want your own www.xyz.com you know, if you go to a service like godaddy.com or Namecheap, probably for a dollar to two dollars, you can get a domain of your own liking. So if you compare just to get up and running, there's a huge difference. I In, in this, I have not even taken into account the initial investment of uh, the inventory that you buy, 
the shelves that you have to put in, the staff, the utility bills, the signage, advertisement, nothing. Just to hire the place, you are already $12,000 in debt compared to one or two dollars. If you want to get fancy, you can even do it for zero dollars. That is enough for somebody who's starting from scratch. An online business wins this battle when it comes to initial investment. Now, let's look at another reason why an online business is better than an offline business. And the second reason is obviously scaling. Let's suppose, let's take the same example. You've got your shop and for some reason it's a success. It's running very well. Everything's working fine and you have your shop and customers are coming in. Let's say it's a cafe and you're serving them tea and everything's working fine. What happens if you have four customers coming in, having tea or having coffee, whatever, and it's, your shop is doing really well, the cafe is doing really well, and all of a sudden you've gone to 40 customers coming in. Now what do you do? You need more chairs, you need more tables, you need more dishes, you need more coffee, you need more waiters, you need more lighting, you more, need more space, you might need to extend to another building on the side. So as you scale up, so does your investment as well. You'll keep on putting in more money into it. And even if you do scale, let's suppose you want to open another shop in, in another city, then you need to hire another place, find a manager, find employees, get furniture, do everything once again. So scaling up an offline or traditional business is very expensive. On the other hand, if you've got a website and you've got four people coming in, fine. If you've got 400 people coming in, still fine. Does not matter unless you get into the millions of visitors coming to your website on a monthly basis, you might need to invest in a little bit more server space. But for the most part, nobody needs to do that. And it doesn't matter if there's one person coming or 500, the website is enough. You don't need to put in anything else to cater for those many people. Not only that, if you want to people from another city or even another country to log in and be a customer, fine, that website works. So again, to scale up, an online business, you pretty much don't need a lot of investment. Whereas an offline business, every step you take forward, your expense increases proportionally. So that's my second reason why an online business is better than an offline business. Thirdly, if you've got a cafe and if you've got a website, an online business, an offline business has got fixed hours. Whatever the hours may be, it will start at a certain time. It will close at a certain time. An online business works 24-7. There are no weekends off. So there are no staff members taking a holiday on the weekend. If it's an online business, it's just working all the time. Even when you're sleeping, the business is running itself. Whereas an offline business, it's open only when the doors are open. Only when you or your manager or your staff are there. When they go home, your business stops working. So again, you get more from your store or your business if it's an online business. Location. So you've got a cafe somewhere in some city in some country you are limited to the customers in that location only with a website you can be based in china india the us and people and customers from all over the world can be your customers so it does not matter where your location is you can be sitting in your home country and be selling to people in the us or in europe or anywhere else but to open a cafe in australia you need to be in australia and even if you are in australia you limit it to people only in that city. You can't serve people from the other side of the country. So an online business, again, wins this battle. Now, this isn't a biggie, but still, usually if you've got an offline store, a traditional brick and mortar store, a cafe, you are still afraid of crime. Somebody can rob the place, somebody can steal something. So the potential of crime is there. Whereas an online business is quite safe. Usually there's nothing to break, there's nothing to steal. Uh, online security has become quite robust, so it's not very easy and it's not something people are actively trying to break into. Unless you're a huge company like Apple or Microsoft, there are, you don't have a lot of security threats, so you're good there. An online business gives you that peace of mind. The next reason I think an online business wins over traditional business is in a traditional business you have a lot of maintenance charges you have things breaking in your shop you need to keep on paying for utility you know so your signs might change your menus might change your brochures might change what you're selling might change and every time there's difference you have to reprint things you have to re-establish things you have to keep on painting the shop cleaning the shop cleaning just cleaning itself takes 
so much of your time, energy, staff. A website, it's clean. A website doesn't get old. Well, it does get old, but not in the traditional sense. It doesn't get dirty. Uh, you don't need anybody cleaning it up. Having almost zero maintenance fees again makes an online business really really attractive to people who want to start their business so in a traditional business you would need a lot of stuff and with stuff come salaries so it doesn't matter if you are in business or if you're making money or not you need a cashier you need somebody shelving you need waiters things like that online typically it's mostly software that's working for you as with time time has moved on you know software is replacing employees and you could pretty much pay $50 for a piece of software and get a ton of things done. It doesn't get sick. It doesn't want holidays. It doesn't want salary. It doesn't want a raise. It's just a fixed fee and you're good to go. Commute. So in a traditional business, you, no matter where you are, you will have to travel to that cafe every day, going there, coming back. Even if it's a half an hour away from you, that's one hour of your entire day being lost just commuting and again commute has charges an online business like me you can sit at home and do your business the commute for me is i get from my bed come to my office and that's it not even a minute so that and has no expense basically you have you no commute and with that also comes the freedom of working from anywhere so i could probably travel to a country across the globe and still be able to run my business absolutely you're not tied down to a location so what i'm trying to say is if i try to summarize all my points is one a traditional business needs high investment and if, if you're starting from scratch then an online business is a low investment endeavor and secondly a traditional business is hard to scale and an online business is very easy to scale and I, in the coming videos i'll try to explain what exact business is right for you but between an online and offline business, I would say no matter what business you plan on going into, make sure no matter what idea you have, try to take it online. So I hope you've got some value from this video. It's 3 a.m. in the morning, so I'm sorry if, if I've rambled on for a long time. If any, if any questions have come into your mind, just drop them in the comments below. I'll try to answer almost all of them to the best of my knowledge. And yeah, just stay tuned. I'll try to keep on answering more questions, trying to explain more about business. I just want to help uh, as many people as I can during this lockdown. If it's, you know, one, two, three months from now, I want to make sure those of you who are interested are able to launch their businesses in the coming two and three months so that when we get through this whole epidemic, you have your own business up and running. So to your success, take care.